can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to, we'll go back to another video and in today's video it's gonna, it's gonna trigger some of you guys. Now before you guys get upset, let me just explain. One sec. I've been getting DMs on DMs telling me that I cannot get the amount of money that I think I'm gonna get for this car. I want 22,000 at least. I spent so much more than that, nearly 28,000, and it has about 24,000 in mind, and that's because I got good deals on it from my sponsors and my partners, but still that being said, I spent so much out of my own money and I want at least 22,000, but realistically, I'm not gonna get that money. And a lot of you guys are gonna be like, look at you, you just tore apart a perfectly good car. For me, it's all about the experience. I built this amazing car, I absolutely love it to death, it's always in my memories. I have it on my YouTube channel. I have it on my Instagram. It's something that I've built and I'm proud of. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to let it go to some random person that's not even a follower for a dummy cheap that doesn't even really understand what mods are on it. All you guys that actually love these mods would love to have these mods for such a good deal. I've gotten so many DMs asking me if I could part out my car, sell them this, sell them that, sell them this. And basically, I came out of the conclusion that if you guys want good deals on parts and I need to make a little bit more money than how much people would offer me for this car, you know, it's a win win. I can help you guys out, get some really cheap parts. I'm literally selling all my parts half of retail value, which is absolutely insane. So, I'm actually gonna be starting this series with you guys. I'm basically gonna have you guys come out. I'm gonna meet you guys up. We give you guys some insane deals on all the parts that are on this car and then sell the car for 16000 to one of you guys as well because 16000 for this car makes sense. I'm still gonna keep the M Sport body kit, still gonna keep the carbon fiber diffuser, carbon fiber front lip, the steering wheel, still gonna have sports seats, the wrap, it's still gonna look really good in the end for 16,000, but it just makes a lot more sense to sell it like that rather than with the bags, the wheels, the interior, all this other stuff that you guys want a good deal on. I could give it to you guys for either quarter off or 50% off. Like the air suspension, I paid around 35 after tax and shipping about four. Um, actually, I didn't personally pay that price. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I actually paid about three out the door because of Black Friday. I got 25% off on Black Friday. So so that being said, uh, basically, if you guys want the air suspension, it's gonna be only $2,000, pretty much half off of retail value. In terms of the wheels, I'm gonna have 25% off of that. Basically, these retail 3,000, and then I paid about 500 for the tires. I'm only gonna be selling for 2,400. I've re I just had this clean new setup. You guys, like, literally just seen on the channel, new tires, new wheels. I'm literally gonna be selling everything a whole lot cheaper. And I'm not really trying to make profit on anything that I've purchased. I'll just rather give you guys the parts for your guys' build, save a whole lot of other BMWs, and this one will still look perfect. It still looks good and I can still make a decent amount of money back. At least 22,000 is my end goal because I'm not taking a penny less from how much money and time I put into this car. That being said guys, I actually have one of you guys coming out right now and uh, he's gonna pick off some parts. I'm gonna give him the best deals I possibly can, probably like 40% to 50% off these parts. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting on him and then we're gonna swap it over to his car. So his 435 is gonna get a touch of madness. And I just can't wait to see all you guys come over here. I'm gonna give you guys some good deals on parts and all that good stuff. Meet some of you guys in person. At the end of the day, sell the car to one of you guys. It's gonna be a really good experience. I'm really happy to meet some of you guys at the same time because I wouldn't have any of the cars that I have if it wasn't for you guys. So that is the reason why I'm literally just only announcing this on my YouTube channel. I'm not gonna be parting up on Facebook or offer up. I took down my ad part out because I'm not doing that. I'm literally gonna give it to you guys for the good prices and whatever I can't sell, I'll leave it on the car and I'll sell the car end of the day for 16,000, which is a smoking good deal for a 435 M Sport. And it's gonna have a good amount of mods left on it. All right, guys, so we got my first fall that came up to pick up some parts off the car. So what are you getting exactly off of this car? Babtronic exhaust. The GPS code and the intake. And the intake, which is actually a good combo, mainly because I had a custom cut this grill here just to fit the intake. So that's going to work out pretty sick. So yeah, he has a M Sport 435i. These mods are definitely going to make his car look a whole lot better. And I'm going to be pretty much building a lot of... I'm going to be helping you guys build your cars as well. So I'm giving you guys good deals, building your guys' cars as well. So don't get mad at me that I'm taking apart this car. It hurts me already, but at the same time, you know what hurts me more is people giving me an option for me $18,000 for this car that I put so much money and time into. So it is what it is, but um, it's gonna make his car look sick. So without further ado, let's get into it. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down?
Guys, look at the hood. It looks so good on this guy. <laughs> you see, I mean, I know this one's getting stripped away of its beauty, but <laughs> this one's coming together. We're going to be pretty much building a whole bunch of your guys' BMWs, and this is looking so sick. We might actually end up wrap unwrapping this. It depends up to you, but we'll see in the end if we got time. So we just did the intake. We just did the hood. It looks super good. And now we're going to go ahead and take off the exhaust. He has a muffler delete, so Copper's going to have a muffler delete, but he's going to have a Valtronic, so that's going to be sick. Is it just something you say? That girl he texting when I look away. Cause in the end All right, guys, so my man right here, we did the Valtronic, we did the hood. What else did we do? The intake. And then now what else do you need? <laughs> <laughs> side skirts rear extensions and he also wants a carbon fiber interior trim so he literally wants to just go full send it so we're literally transforming this 435 which has how many miles 33,000 2014 this is 157,000 so he's given this thing a life from the beginning and I give this thing a life towards the end of its life so it, it you know it, it's happy it's happy it's still gonna look really good don't worry guys but this thing's getting an entirely new life let's go ahead and get all that carbon fiber stuff it is super dark out but uh we gotta get this done oh so what's your name again Geo. Geo. I didn't even think I asked, did I? No. Okay. What's going on, Geo? <laughs> like to ask. All right, guys. So his hood right now has a carbon fiber forged hood. I'm actually just joking. It's because of the wrap. It makes it look like carbon fiber. Does this look like a carbon fiber? Like is, forged? Is this carbon fiber? No, it's not carbon fiber. It's actually sticky from the wrap. Oh. <laughs> but it looks like forged carbon. So we got the hood on it. He has the MSD intake on it as well. What he also went with, he went with the carbon fiber side skirt extensions. I don't know if you guys can see. He went with the carbon fiber side skirt extensions that look super good. And he also went with these rear ones as well, which I actually think makes all of a difference. All these parts are from Keys Motorsports, guys. So if you guys want any of these parts, make sure to check out Keys. And uh, what else did you get? You got carbon hood. Oh, valve trunk and exhaust, forged carbon tips. Um, he also, he does need to take it out of the exhaust shop to just get it properly because it's not 100% aligned, but it's not that big of a deal. He can get that aligned. It is working. We got it coated in form and all that good stuff. So you got the carbon fiber trim there. He got the full carbon interior that I had on my car. Pretty much just moved it over. Carbon fiber door handles. And he has a carbon fiber steering wheel. So it just looks so sick. So he has all carbon in the interior. You might want to do a sports seat upgrade down the road, but uh, bro, like in one day, <laughs> In one day, this dude just, just as much mods as I did in like two, three months. And an average person, probably a year's worth of mods in one day. How many hours? Is it like five hours? Yeah, like five okay. hours. Okay, so, was it worth the money? I think so, I saved a lot of money. Yeah, so I gave, I hooked them up with some good deals. If you guys want some parts as well, make sure to hit me up. I'm gonna have like a list of parts that I've left on my car that's for sale down below with the prices. I'm pretty much giving you guys for a really good deal, so let me know if you guys want anything. Without further ado, um, he's gonna have to head home. You got a long drive, two hours, right? Two hours. Two hours. So I'm, I'm gonna help him head out and uh, yeah. Hey, bro. Alright guys, and this is the next morning. We got the man going out right there. He was the guy that pretty much purchased all the parts off my car yesterday. And uh, let's just say copper is looking a little bit naked. The hood is super, super, super dirty. This is the hood that I had in my backyard. It's the original hood to the car. I went ahead and ordered wrap so we can rewrap this because that's damage right there. And it just looks really bad. So we went ahead and reordered wrap for that because I'm not going to mistreat this car. Um, as for the sides, it is missing all the carbon there. Missing the carbon in the rear. And then obviously the exhaust is missing as well. Which is pretty crazy. But also, I did my calculations last night. And if we do this right, we might be able to make more money than I actually thought which is also in a good way and I'm selling everything super cheap as it just comes to show how good of a deal this car was when I put it up for 22 but people don't really want to go through all the you know the hassle of selling everything so I'm gonna be going through that and I'm selling everything pretty much half off and I'm still probably gonna be making more money than 22 end of the day so we're gonna keep on this journey we're gonna see how that works out and if it works out good then I'll let you guys know if, it, if I ended up losing money I mean we, we still have so many things to sell and if it doesn't sell for the right prices we might end up losing money so I'll keep you guys posted but um yeah that's how copper is actually sitting right now i'm gonna go ahead inside edit this part we're gonna have part two coming out tomorrow so make sure to smash that like button if you guys are excited to see part two but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go i ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that i wanna be better not worse man it hurts i'm on this earth with my words and i put them all together in cert because i wanna have worth